Today we're going to talk about gum disease, periodontal disease, a condition that affects the tissue surrounding and supporting your teeth, your gums, um, the accumulation of plaque and the film of bacteria that forms on the teeth. These can be very detrimental to your overall health. Heart health, respiratory health can affect your diabetes, um, inflammatory conditions, and I think most importantly some of the research that we've seen because it's being studied so hard is some of the bacteria generated in your mouth are lending um, to the conditions of dementia and Alzheimer's. This, this is a serious problem that we have in, in this country and the world is unmanaged gum disease or the health um, of the bacteria in your mouth. They're called biofilm. Bio, biofilm are colonies of bacteria that really form a slime around themselves. They protect themselves. They teach themselves how to def play defense. It's thought that biofilm bacteria actually get together and teach each other and they make internal antibiotics so that they can learn how to defend themselves against antibiotics. We call these smart bugs. These are very smart bugs. The scary thing is if the biofilm is strong and our mechanisms of treating the bacteria can't get through that, they just get bigger and bigger, bacteria escape, they, they meet up with bacteria from other biofilms, and now we have a new biofilm formation that's a combination of bacteria, fungus, uh, yeast, candida. The, the, these, these are a real health concern. Um, I've been involved with a company called PerioProtect for about 15 years. It's a non-surgical way to treat gum disease using a tray um, and a product called PerioGel that I was involved with in the formation of PerioGel. That is the use of the gel in these trays, um, patented trays that deliver the gel into the gum line and help break down biofilm. But what we've learned is you can break that biofilm down and even destroy some of the bacteria, but they come back with a vengeance. Um, a Dr. Emily Stein, who I've gotten to know, is a microbiologist and an immunologist. She has a PhD in immunology from Stanford, and she did her research at Stanford and developed, with 14 patents, developed a couple products that are really, really remarkable, and I'll discuss those in a minute. But she talks about the fact that people flush and brush, brush in the morning, and by the time they leave the house, what they cleaned up is back with a vengeance. Our mouth is an incubator. It's warm, it's moist, there's food in there, there's organic acids in there, and if we don't control that and biofilm gets to be a one runaway problem, it affects our heart, it affects our brain. So we have got to take notice. And at this time, I'm just unbelievably thrilled to be part of uh, presenting a product called Advanced Gum Health. The patented formulation in here is called Fosident. So you have bad biofilm and you have good biofilm. If you get Fosident in your mouth and you do it after every meal, you're going to inhibit the formation of bad biofilm and you're going to activate the formation of good biofilm. So you're converting bad biofilm to good biofilm with Dr. Stein's patented formulas. I've read her research. She sent me some documents. Um, it, it's remarkable. Uh, it, it, the, the, her and her company, Primal Health, are really onto something. Um, but when I can, what I can tell you, if you're suffering from any gum disease, your dentist has raised some concerns about that. I firmly believe by using advanced gum health after every meal, research, her, Dr. Stein's research has shown that she can inhibit that biofilm formation two to three to four hours. So it can take you from meal to meal. So if you commit to a lozenge dissolved in your mouth after every meal, you're gonna do a great job of inhibiting these really, really um, bad biofilm and they're living in us right now. Um, so we, we have it at the pharmacy. Um, they're a little lozenge. They're really, really easy to use. They take about, they take about two minutes to dissolve. Um, I've been using them after every meal now for maybe close to a month. Um, we're seeing people reporting that if they have history of bad breath, their breath is better. Um, I have a few people who we feel that the conditions they're dealing with are really a, maybe a yeast and candida override in their mouth, which is feeding other systems. 
We swallow these bacteria, we breathe these bacteria, they get into our sinuses, they get into our brain. Um, so the better job we can do of breaking down the biofilm that protects these bacteria, the better job we can do um, of treating the plaque buildup that causes gum disease, but the, the detrimental effects of what these bacteria can do. Advanced gum health, um, stop, ask questions. Um, we have it in mint and orange flavor. Um, so I would recommend you do one after every meal.